Brave Vesperia, Jaeger's killers. What are you doing here? Hey, hold on. It's not worth it. Revenge is really overrated, you know? But we're sick of being so depressed. We gotta do something. If you're gonna hold grudges, you better not forget Alexei. Alexei's dead. You're alive. Fine. You want to fight? You got one. Yuri, wait! Why didn't you two fight alongside Jaeger? You just stood there and watched. <sighs> because that's what he ordered them to do, right? Yeah, that's right! So why are you still on this revenge kick? That doesn't make any sense. Shut up! How could you ever understand? Jaeger had no choice but to do that for us! What do you mean? Alexei found out about everything Jaeger had done behind the scenes. The things he did to help us. That's enough, Drott. My bad. None of that matters. You killed him, and we will never forgive you for that. Sorry, but we're gonna have to fight you now. It looks like they won't take no for an answer. <laughs> but... Here they come. Ooh. 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 
Winning comes first. we made how can you guys still be so loyal to him he's gone we owe him our lives once you knew his secret you worked for him to return the favor how sad poor things don't touch me oops hey that's what are you doing with that N no that doesn't matter please give it to us Hey, it doesn't even belong to you! Asking favors after attacking us like that? The audacity! Please, that belonged to Casey, someone very dear to Jaeger. We've looked everywhere for it. Casey. Raven. Someone very dear to Jaeger, huh? Here, my condolences. <sighs> Thanks a lot. That weapon should serve as ample compensation. Whoa, this... Isn't this Casey's bow? You had it? Now we owe you nothing, but we still have a score to settle. We'll see you again after we train some more, okay? They're as fleet as foot as ever in retreat! What the...? They took off! You okay with that, Raven? Wasn't that important to you? Huh? Oh, well, yeah. Got something pretty nice in return, though. I'll let this slide. Ooh, is this a tale of lost love? Or maybe a little jealousy? Hey, Judith, darling, it's not nice to tease your elders. I just don't know what to make of it. 
Those two adoring Jaeger knowing how bad he was, and Jaeger himself donating to an orphanage. And all the children saved by a criminal's generosity. I can't tell what's right or wrong. Guess Jaeger was even more complicated than we thought. Yep, there's always more going on with people than you first think. So, what about you? Sounds like things were pretty complicated between you and this Casey. Yeah, I feel like a big weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Ah, but who cares about an old man's sorry past? Come on, let's go. Hey, come back here!
I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it. Hey! The sign of victory! Figurine is lovely. Figurine? I'd say it's more like a toy, really. You must not have seen many things like this in the castle, Estelle. I'd like to see more of these figurines. And thus, a figurine collector is born. Oh, some people are just more interested in aesthetics than others, Yuri. It's not all that unusual. Yeah, I don't really have any interests outside of Blastia. I've always been a fan of cool guild emblems myself. What about you, Yuri? Huh? I've never really given much thought to artistic sorts of things. I never really looked at anything like art. Ask me! Ask me! Ask me what I like! Girls! Girls. Th th that's right. We know it's right.
Oh, there's no challenge at all. Don't get cocky. Wonderful. You picked the wrong... I have mastered a skill. You picked the wrong...
Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Such great shining face! Don't get careless. You know, maybe you should, uh, think. Keep your eyes on my sword. You picked the wrong... Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! You picked the wrong pe
This looks easy. Let's just get it over with. Shining Fang! Shining Fang! Not done yet!
focus on the enemy in front. Shining Fang! Shining Fang! Drop! Brutal Fang! You picked the wrong people. Hey, are we really gonna take this with us? Of course! I mean, it's the job we were given! And you saw how much the client wanted this Everlight! Yeah, but why was that monster so interested in it? Baul should be able to outfly him, right, Judith? Of course. But that's not really the issue here, is it? No, I just wonder if it's really okay to carry off something that seems so important. Nobis trusted us to do this job for him! I want to take this back to him. I think it's the right thing to do. Well, if you put it like that... Maybe we should just ask the client what he'd like us to do. Yeah, let's do that. I never imagined you would deliver it to me directly. Thank you so very much. With this, we can finally revive our guild. Revive? Did something happen to your guild? No, it's, it's nothing. Here, take this as a show of my gratitude. Now that I've acquired it, I mustn't waste even a single moment. You think he'll be all right? Must really be in a hurry if he's heading out of town on his own. That voice. I... I don't believe it. Damn, he sure is persistent. Nobis is in trouble. Let's go. the monster got away with the stone hey are you okay after all that searching now I'll have to start over 
This wound is terrible. Let's carry him to the inn. Well, he'll live, but he shouldn't be moved for quite some time. He's lucky you were here. What a stupid thing to do. I don't care what the reason. Anybody who steps outside a barrier alone is crazy. I figure this will make him give up on the Everlight. He's lucky to get off with his life. I guess we shouldn't have brought the Everlight to him after all. I should have listened to you, Yuri. Hey, it's his own fault for charging out like that. You got nothing to worry about, Carol. Yuri... But we should decide what our guild will do if something like this happens again. We do need to try and define Brave Vesperia's rules as we gain more experience. Yeah. Hey, don't get all down on yourself. We just started as a guild. Yeah, we'll only get better from here on.
Are you Mimula? That's right. And just who might you be? We're Brave Vesperia, the guild who took the job you posted with the Union. It's about time. I will, of course, dock your pay for all the waiting you've made me do. What? That's not fair! Is this indecent young lady part of your brave... whatever you call it as well? Do you have a problem with how I'm dressed? It's your reputation. Now, are you serious about taking the job? Well, what does it involve? I haven't seen my butler, Sebastian, since he left to negotiate with a certain guild. I'd like to get some word from him, but nobody seems willing to go for me. Have you considered going yourself? It would make a lovely day trip, I'm sure. <sighs> this is no time for jokes. I have no interest in going any place that vile. Which is where we come in, right? Naturally, the commoners must heed the words of the nobility. So what's a high and mighty noble like you doing in the lower quarter? Well, I... you see... Ugh, how rude! Why should you care? And what guild are you talking about? They are called Leviathan's Claw. Leviathan's? You are to find out first if Sebastian is safe, and second, how the negotiations have gone. What was he supposed to negotiate? That is none of your concern. Yeah, it's not, but we don't need any extra hassle. So basically, you'd like us to bring this Sebastian back to you. That's right. If we're dealing with Leviathan's Claw, I guess we're off to the Manor of the Wicked. Just what kind of dangerous hobbies are you people into? Ugh, I thought I told you it was none of your business. You need only concern yourselves with the work I've hired you to do. Such emotion is unbecoming of your ladyship. <laughs> I hear you, Rapide. Let's get going. Right. We accept this task in the name of the brightest star in the night sky. Brave Vesperia! What? Is that your little slogan? Please. We can't possibly understand the refined tastes of such an elegant lady, Carol. <laughs> oh, how dare you make fun of me! I won't stand for it. Oh.
But you're going bye bye. More honor for this blade.
So, did we do the right thing? Sure we did. Who knows what kind of mess they'd cause if we just left them alone. Gotta say, though, it goes against the Guild Code of Conduct to tell secrets you find out when you're on a job. Really? You gotta keep quiet about any dirt you find out during a job for your client. Wow, old man, that's actually... honorable. Guilds gotta turn a blind eye to stuff their clients do, no matter how bad. Besides, sticking your nose into the client's business isn't gonna earn you any extra dough. I guess you're right, but... Take the pay you got for this job, for example. I don't know about just doing the work, getting paid, and leaving it at that. Yeah, like last time. Right. We did exactly what the client asked, and look how badly that turned out. Which reminds me, have you figured out what this whole Brave Vesperia thing is for yet? Is it for the money, because you like it? What? We... Do justice, right? Yes, Brave Asperia does what its members feel is right. Even if that doesn't always make money like Raven was talking about. I, I mean, for now, we'll still do jobs that pay, of course. Huh, so that's what Brave Asperia does. Hmm, not sure how much that actually cleared up, but... You guys sure you're all right with that? Being in a guild isn't all fun and games, you know. We never expected it to be. And even if it was, that wouldn't change how we feel. Yeah. We'll do things our own way. Huh, listen to this kid. What? I think it sounds great. So that's where things stand, old man. <laughs> Knowing you kids, you'll probably find a way to pull it off. Of course! It's been a slow process, but Brave Vesperia has really come into its own as a guild. I think it's still nowhere close to a full-fledged guild. But everyone's trying their best! Well, I guess the guild does have a good style. A good style? We have the kid for comic relief, the Critian as the love interest, and Yuri as the straight man. Oh, I thought you were talking about how fashionable our clothes were. That'd make you the space cadet, then. So you're the straight woman? 
I'm not a member of your crazy comedy act. We're a guild, you know. 